a bit of an update folks. It's been a while since I've been on the vlog because we've been gearing up to open the pub this Saturday. Today's Wednesday. So part of the guidelines stipulate we need to put some physical barriers up and well if you were selling Perspex in February you know it weren't much of a business but these days well you can make a fortune on it. So I've decided instead to run with the building plastic and we'll just put some temporary frames up. It's only temporary, it's not going to be there forever. But what it does is allow us to separate seating. It's a contamination trap is all it is. So we've just extended in the restaurant area where we aren't going to be doing food for the first couple of weeks, unfortunately. Um, we've just put some sheeting and uh, little extensions on top of the seating section. So what you'll get is Family groups sat here, they can all sit together, they live in the same household. Two households can meet, so they can sit over there, that's not a problem. Same over here, and then across here, family group there, family group on the other side, and then we're going to have a sanitation station for the exit on that pedestal, and one there for the entrance. We're yet to put markings on the floor. Uh, and then these two will just be for couples, these two pedestals here. No standing at the bar, no standing in the building actually, apart from moving from A to B. And then if we go downstairs, you'll be able to have a look what we're doing down here. So uh, these tables are gonna be removed from this side altogether. And you'll have two tables, one there, one there for family groups and that will allow us to have a queuing system going into the toilets. That's Mr. Ferrari there. And in the toilets, that there be light, what we've decided to do is, because people can't get out, we put little pegs down here up on the floor. You can't get out without touching the handle, is what I'm saying. So you just get your foot on the bottom of the door, flick it open, and away you go. You don't have to touch anything. So we're going to have maybe a hand sanitizer sat on the top here and obviously you can wash your hands and dry them here as well. And then once you've washed your hands and they're nice and clean, just use the old foot and get yourself out. And then if there's somebody waiting, they'll be queuing to the side. You can bugger off back upstairs to your drink or outside to the beer garden. We've done the same in the gents toilets as well. So it'll be a one in, one out system because of how narrow this section is here. But we do have the little foot catch. That's gonna come in handy. It's a shame because we've got the urinals. There is the space, but we're gonna to have to just wait until this is all out of the window and finished. So this is what we're gonna to have to do for now. And then if we move into the garden, we've pretty much orientated all the tables and everything spaced out perfectly. So one group there, one group there, another group over there on that little section. You'll notice that all the railings are done as well. One group here, you can get three groups up on the raised area up there, and then three groups nicely distanced over on this section as well. So you can see that back to back, that's a six foot panel there, so they're about four feet apart which give or take is just over a meter but they're back to back that's mitigating and they're outside should be fine also while i've uh, had a bit of uh, rush time we've managed to put this gate together finally we've been waiting for it for a while but uh, i just thought you know what i came in over the weekend and just got stuck in and made it and hung it because of course we're going to be putting massive parasols up outside to keep everybody dry because if it starts to rain they can't come into the building uh, if it puts social distancing at risk so instead they need to be able to shelter in place as they say so we bought some huge parasols and uh, are you down there Jem? no? Oh, well you'll have to put up with radio then nobody's here to turn it off for me there's the parasols they're two metres 
2.4 by 2.4 once they're fully erect. Hello, sailor. And uh, yeah, there's loads of room for them. Canning machine, cam seamer. I've got some clips to insert here. And as you can see, we really have been moving. We've done over a thousand cans of beer and they're now in the conditioning room where they will be coming up to temperature and a little bit cool up there actually. It needs to be a bit warmer than that. So let's go in and have a look because I want to actually get a four pack out for tonight and there we have it that's cold so it's not heating yeah so here's the cans boys and girls oh they're starting to we've got some pressure in there as well now so they are doing some secondary fermentation that's wonderful so all the stuff on the top here uh, 200 cans of proof of concept and then down the bottom 900 cans a vacant which is a heck of a lot of cans but it worked flawlessly we've got brand new batch of proof of concept here with a congestion beneath it around the corner we've got kegs galore carbonating vacant congestion proof of concept being hit with co2 ready to go on the bar from saturday 
and today I've just finished a batch of vacant gesture. We did a proof of concept yesterday, best bit of the day before. So we're going to have three tanks full over there. We emptied these two tanks the past couple of days. Just be quiet a minute, LBC. Thank you very much. So yeah, the plan is coming again tomorrow. Brew some more, and uh, well, just keep pushing, folks. Keep pushing. Uh, and I think that's it. I was going to see if I could show you the little DJI gimbal that I've got, but uh, I think I put it somewhere. I took it off the top of there so it didn't fall. It was on the on the um, on the tripod. Oh, it's over here. Look. So a few people have been asking me which one it is. Uh, obviously, I'm not using it now, as you can tell by the jerky motions, but it's the DJI Mobile, Osmo Mobile 3, which is a wonderful little bit of kit for about £100. And yes, it does lots and lots of different things. I recommend it, and I'll put it on for the next video, I promise. Anyway, quick update. I say quick. It's 10 minutes long plus. Uh, so I'm going to go and put some yeast. Fermo yeast AY5. SO5 substitute by Fermo yeast. And I'll be popping that into the uh, into the vacant gesture any minute. Available at Niche Solutions if you can see that there. There we go. Oh, label machine, you've seen that. Still waiting for labels to come. They should be here in a couple of days. Anyway, I'm beginning to ramble, so I'll stop and I will see you guys on the next video. I thank you very much. Cheers.